Hi everyone, I've got a really lovely sideline Pilates workout for you today. We're going to be on our sides, challenging our stability, getting our hips and our shoulders working. All you need is a mat or a rug and a little cushion to support your head as well. As ever, if we do anything that doesn't feel right for you, please stop and also feel free to rest at any time you need to. We're going to be starting in our normal oyster today. So you have two options. Option one is you can have your arm lengthened along the floor with your cushion supporting your head onto your arm, feet together, knees together as well, or you can place your elbow and your forearm on the floor and support yourself like this. I'm going to do it like this today just because I like how it adds an additional extra element of challenge with the core. So heels are together and this top hand can go on the top hip. I'm going to breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, we're just going to start lifting up that knee as far as we can without letting the pelvis drop back. Inhale to lower down. Let's go again. Breathing out to float up. Inhale to come down. So keeping on pressing the mat away from you. Lift and lower. Good. And again, breathe out. And in. Out and in good checking that you're not rocking back so your hand can help you with that helps you work out where you are in space let's go three and two and one and lower the leg down so now we're going to add on a leg extension so we're going to do exactly the same breathing out to bring that leg up and then keeping the thigh completely still lengthening that leg away from you Inhale, bring the heels back together. Lower back down. Breathe out. And lengthen. Inhale. And down, keeping the top shoulder away from the ear again. Out. Lengthen. Inhale. Down. Superb. Breathe out. And lengthen. Inhale. Down. Three more. So feeling it down the side of the leg now. And our final one like this, breathe out and lengthen, inhale and down. We're going to change your sideline positions now. So I'd like you to get your cushion, pop it between your head and your arm, then bring that lower leg up so that your knee is at 90 degrees and your shin is in line with the side of the mat and lengthen that top leg out toe muscles coming in so you're supporting yourself through your middle and we're going to start drawing circles with our toe moving our leg in one big piece now you can either have your hands on your hip to make sure your pelvis isn't moving or you can float the arm at fingertips pointing up towards the sky tummy muscles coming in let's start circling around great keeping your upper body completely still two and one and now let's go the other way again reaching through the foot toe and circling around good let's go five four three two and one and bring that leg down so now taking the lower leg out in line with your spine let's pop that top foot on the floor so pressing the knee away from you top hand can support you because it's very easy to roll forward like this. We're going to lengthen through that top lower leg to go into some inner thigh squeezes. So keeping everything still once again, you're just going to float that leg up, lower down with control. Breathe out to float, inhale to lower, good. Breathe out and in. So trying to squeeze that lower thigh up. Good, so let's go four three, two, and our final one, squeezing that leg up and lower down. Good. Bring your legs back together in that oyster position. Get rid of your cushion. And now we're going to clasp our hands together behind our head. So our elbows are together. Now this move is called a butterfly. And we're just going to get some gorgeous rotation through our spine, opening out the front of our chest as well. So tummy muscles coming in, elbows together, breathe in 
As we breathe out, let's start lifting up that top elbow up towards the sky or the ceiling and start opening back. So hinge frame facing forward, getting a lovely twist through your body. Then inhale and smoothly lower back down. Good. Let's go again. Breathing out to lift up. So you're just supporting your head in your hands, opening up, turning your head to watch the line of your elbow and lower down. Breathing out, rotate and back. Inhale and down. Well done. Let's go five. And four. And three. Keeping our hips facing forward. And two. Shoulder away from ear. And our final one. All the way up and back, rotating backwards. Inhale to come back free. Okay, so we're going to make this a little bit more exaggerated now. Get your cushion and pop it underneath your head and sandwich your hands together. Now I'd like you to imagine that you've got a piece of chalk in this top hand. I'm gonna draw a massive big circle around us. So let's breathe in. As you breathe out, let's start circling around, turning our head to wash our fingertips, reaching through your fingertips, and smoothly coming back around. Well done. And again, all the way up and around, reaching through, coming back. Keep your knees glued together and just make sure you're not letting that top knee rock backwards. Good stuff. Tummy muscles coming in again to support you. Great. And two more like this. Lovely, and our final one. So really enjoy this gorgeous rotation here. Bring your hands back together, and now let's go the opposite way. So reaching through the fingertips, lovely stretch around, all the way up and over. Turning your head, reaching through. Brilliant. Sweet. And around. Good. Let's go three. And two. And one more. All the way around. And bring your arms back together. Oh, great. Okay, so let's bring ourselves over and do exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to start with that oyster. So stack your heels, stack your knees and stack your hips. Pressing the mat away from you. Remember, you can have your head on the cushion. Top hand on top of the hips so that you know what you're doing. So you can feel if you're moving your pelvis. And we're going to go into those oysters. So breathe out to lift. Inhale to lower. Keeping your shoulders, drawing down your spine. And making sure you're not letting that pelvis rock back as you lift the hips. Good. Four, three, two, good. And final one here, lower the leg down. Now we're gonna do the same, but add in that leg extension. So we're gonna lift that leg up and then keeping the thigh completely still, still breathing out, lengthen the leg. Inhale, heels come back together, lower the leg down. Well done. And again, breathe out and lengthen in and down press the mat away from you so you're keeping elbow nice and strong and again up and lengthen in and down good let's go four and three Ooh. 
<laughs> wobbling a bit there. Two. Trying to keep your thigh still. One more. Lift and lengthen. Back in and down. Well done. So draw that lower leg up now so your shin is in line with the side of your mat. Lengthen bottom arm out. Head supported by your cushion. Top leg extended. And let's bring the arm up into the air. Ready for our sideline circles. So reaching through that top, the top leg. Trying to make sure you're moving that leg as a complete whole. So circling around. Shoulder away from your ear. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, and switching direction, let's go the other way. Reaching through your toe, tummy muscles coming in to support you again. Great. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower that leg down. Swapping your legs over so that lower leg goes nice and long now. Top foot on the floor, ready for the inner thigh squeezes. So top hand on the mat to prevent you from rolling forward, reaching through that toe, breathe out to float, in to lower, out, and in, good, out. Supporting your middle with your core. So internal core that's switched on. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, and our final one here, floating up and lowering down. Well done. Okay, so legs go back into your oyster position. Get rid of the cushion and clasp your hands behind your head, elbows together, ready for our butterfly. So keeping your knees and your hips forward, breathe in. As you breathe out, start lifting at that top elbow, up and back. Inhale and come back down. So we're just trying to rotate through the spine here. Really nice way to open out the front of the chest. Strengthen the shoulders as well. Great. Breathing out, up and back. Inhale, closing down. And back. Inhale and down. Super deeper. Breathing out. Let's go. Four. And three. Good. And this is our final one. Last one, coming all the way up and back. Inhale and closing down. Grabbing the cushion once again and popping it underneath your head. Bring your knees and feet back up if you want to. So you can just change the position ever so slightly. Ready for our chalk circles. Sun's in my eyes. So we're going to start drawing that big, big circle around us. Reaching through our fingertips. Big circle all the way around. Bring your fingertips back together. Lovely circle. Moving around. And again, you might find that one side feels a bit different from the other. Big circle around, keeping your hips facing forward. Good. Let's go three. Two. Great. And final one. Circling around. Bring your arms back together. Let's go the other way around. Sweeping around. All the way around. Good. Turning. Your head to watch your fingers. That's it. Let's go. Three. And 
one, two, and our final one. Circling around and your arms come back together. And I'd like you just to push yourself up through to your seated position now, ready for our two final breaths. I like to sit cross-legged for this part. So finding a lovely upright position, imagine that piece of thread through the crown of your head, fingertips out to the side, breathe in. As you breathe out, lovely stretch up towards the sky, maybe looking up and back, press the air away. And let's go one more time, all the way up, reaching for your fingertips, press the air away and give yourself a nice clap, well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've really enjoyed it and be sure to check out my YouTube and Facebook pages for some more free Pilates workouts. See you soon, bye bye.